It's Graham here, Crestron, and today I want to take you through the out-of-box experience of the Crestron Microsoft Teams scheduling panel. So you can see right here, I have a sample application. So when I take the device out of the box and give it some power, so using a power over Ethernet cable into this device, this is what I see. So it boots up and I get to choose what language. So I simply select which is my local language, it's highlighted as English United States. So I click on next in the top right corner. And now it's going to set those uh, settings everywhere and now ask me for a time zone. And again, you can scroll down and pick your time zone. So I'm over here in Europe and I want London. I select London and then next. And now it's starting the Teams application. So this is the application that is preloaded when you order the 1070-T uh, or the 770-T this is what it comes with so this is the out-of-box experience and I get to now see I have the option to sign in up in the top right I have some settings I can look at that obviously I can see my IP address my serial number accessibility options and actually I'll talk about them in another video and uh, that I will include in the link uh, in the top corner over there and you can see all about the accessibility options in the panel obviously i can reboot the device uh read any policies that are in place and also then into the admin settings now the default password here is just admin but first time use you'll have to set a complex password it can't just be admin admin it must be a, a mix of uh, letters numbers and special characters so let's go ahead and sign in. So it's actually going to enroll in Intune. So this is one key thing you must understand is that the device will auto enroll in uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So you must have permissions uh, or the account must be allowed to do that. Otherwise it will fail. There are another, uh, a number of options. You could simply just type in the details. So if you have them in front of you, you could do that or you can sign in from another device and I love this feature. So now I can go to a browser, go to microsoft.com forward slash device login and then log in with this credential. So I type in this uh, password and then I simply just do um, sign in on the web browser. So it's quicker to type on a, on a laptop. I have heard that these devices will also get remote sign in. So you have a pin number just like you do on the Microsoft Teams phones, which I'll link up here in the video over that side, how you do a remote sign in. So that will come to Teams panel in a later date. It's the same Android build, technically, I think. So let me go ahead and sign this in. So here I have the microsoft.com forward slash device login. So for me, I just simply enter this code now. Remember, this is a one-time code, so I don't care if you see this. You can try and use this code. It's not going to work anywhere else. So this refreshes every, uh, every minute or a few minutes. So then it's asking me to sign in and what account do I want to use. Now I want to use a room account. So I'm going to type in the room account I want to use. Put in your password and there you go. Uh, are you trying to sign in to your Intune company portal? So yes, I want to do that. And that is it. So you can now close that window. So that is uh, no longer required. So now the panel is registering to Intune, as I mentioned, or Intune Endpoint Manager, and it will then sign in, register, and then sign into Teams. And then it goes into and gets the calendar, and obviously then any booking information that may have been already placed in the calendar. So this is also very handy if you've got remote engineers deploying devices, put them on the, uh, on the wall or in the glass, etc. And it just means you don't need to give them the username and password for this room account. It can all be done remotely. So you just ask them to text you or send an email with the accounts and which room is which device. And then you can sign it in remotely for them. So a great little tool there. And that is it. That is the device signed in and happy. What else is there to do? So we can simply come in and do that walk up meeting. We can hit reserve and choose a time and hit reserve. And that creates an ad hoc meeting. And now the room is booked and also on the Microsoft Teams room, we have an ad hoc meeting that we can start from there. But let's see what else we have in the features. So we can go into um, the device settings now. Obviously, we can see again all our details. But when we go into the admin side, we can put in our password. So the first time you utilize the panel, as you can see there, the password is actually admin. 
So this is the Teams application password, not the crashed one password. And now I'm going to actually create uh, the password, which is the same as the, the web UI password. And I'll show you that in a second as well. So I've popped in my password there and I've now hit change. So this has now saved the Microsoft Teams settings, should we say, or, or into the, uh, the, the settings. So now I have to re-authenticate now that I've set that password. The joys of video editing, you can quickly pause it. So now I've got full settings uh, available to me now. So I can choose, for example, now the work hours. I want to show the screen, auto brightness. And when it wakes up, it obviously it's nice and clear. That time and date I've already set, but I can change that. Again, that language. We have Wi-Fi. Um, so again, it can connect to Wi-Fi if you want. Um, if you don't want to have it on the data network. Uh, so again, we can enable or disable that. Obviously, see your network um, on there. So you can know it's my TSS 1070. So that's a, the 10-inch uh, 70 series panel. And then I've got the option to reboot. Uh, look at any uh, debug information. I can sign out. So I can sign out of the, the Teams client if I want. So if I wanted to take out that user, maybe I'll put the wrong one in. I would do account sign out there rather than having to do a factory reset. And then finally, I have the panel app settings. Now in here, this is where I can choose my wallpapers. So this is um, where I can choose the different default wallpapers. So let's choose that one. I've not used that one before. And then the LED. So the light bar that you get included when you order the Microsoft Teams version. We already bundle in the LED light bar that goes around the edge. So that is here. Um, and you can choose purple or red for when it's busy. So that's the busy state when it's booked. That's what you will see uh, on there. So then we can just hit back out and you can see now the wallpaper's changed. So that's nice and clear there. And we can then look at the panel and then you can see it goes out a slight purpley color um, when it is actually booked. So that's the out-of-box experience. It is so easy. It's, it's brilliant. It, the, I love the simplicity of it. Um, but let's just check one thing. So sometimes um, when you factory reset, the device may not have the light bar on. So what we want to do is actually go into the web browser and check those settings. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring up the web browser. So I'm going to type in the IP address of that device into my uh, favorite web browser. And again, you will get uh, authenticated. Uh, you must authenticate when you log in here, as you can see. And then you'll use your username and password. And sign in. So the first thing we want to look for is the status of the LED accessory. So this is where you may see the device. Uh, so the first tab is your status. And then we can see the network. We can see all the settings there and USB. We can see that there's no accessory connected. Now, this is done because we've factory reset the device. So for there, we will have to en enable uh, the USB accessory. And uh, you can see the display is on, it's active. Now in here, you can also do any uh, changes that you want as well. Now this could also be done centrally with the Crestron XIO Cloud. So you have a centralized management tool. Uh, so XIO Cloud, I'll put a link up the top uh, about that as well on how you can utilize XIO Cloud as your master uh, database and uh, your global config for all your Crestron devices and also third party devices too. So I'll include a link to there because that's a great tool to have to manage. Let's say you have multiple uh, devices of these. So these are all, all uh, other different settings. And as you can see, we're running the Microsoft Teams panel mode up here on the top uh, over in the top right. Uh, you can go and uh, get the logs, etc. You can also reboot the device from there as well. But to turn on the the setting for the so to turn on the LED accessory, as we call it, we need to SSH into the device. So what I'll do is pop up the SSH window here so you can actually see this live in action too. And I just use Putty as my example here. It's very easy to download and utilize this. So we'll just zoom in there so you can see it. So I'm gonna log in again with my credentials. And then you are logged into the command we can look for. You can actually press question mark and you'll be able to see all the available uh, features here when you uh, log in. But what we want to do is look at the uh, POE plus status. So you can see POE plus is off. So we want to type in POE plus, POE plus on. And we obviously need to reboot. So we can actually reboot from here as well. We just type in reboot. And now I can see the lights blinking. So the, really that POE plus uh, on 
we'll then just enable that really simply. A quick reboot, and then we're back in business. So if we look at the accessory then, scroll down here. Um, as you can see now, it says light bar and yes. So nice and easy, very simply to be uh, setting this up and making it a really easy, nice to use device. There we can see it's now come back up, it's rebooted. So there we have it, the panel has now rebooted. I can see the nice green light here and it's ready for those ad hoc meetings. So that's all there is to it. And the only other final bit of management, should we say, for these devices is through the Teams Admin Center. So why not let's jump in there and see what we're doing as well. So again, you need a device administrator role to be able to come in and view this. Um, but now I have the devices section and I have Teams Panel. So I can come in here and I can see the application version. So what I can do from the Microsoft Teams Panel is actually control that builder software. Um, that is the Teams application. There's also the Crestron firmware. Again, that can be done uploaded either locally to the device via that IP address, or again, using that XIO cloud to centralize and manage and maintain that firmware uh, update. So I come in here, I can see that I've got a device and I can see um, what's on here, for example. And then I can also uh, scroll across and I can see, actually there's a little health state th there of non-urgent so uh, we can hover over that and that will tell us what that is click on it and um, a newer version of firmware now because i'm running um let's say beta version or early version of the software this is the official release from microsoft that is uh, shown on there so actually i do not need to update it as i've got the latest on here um what else can we do so we can run a configuration profile and basically this is all about like i have here different offices different time zones different uh, formats of the time so 12 hour 24 hour the date uh you know day month year uh, month uh, day year for example for america so again you can just define a policy there and then that will bring that down to the device much like xio cloud once it's online, it will then push that uh, configuration down to the device. So if I just look in here quickly, we'll, we'll be able to see. Um, now, device lock, not sure why you'd want that. Obviously, that's great for phones um, if you want secure, so people can't just randomly pick up and use a, a device. Uh, I don't think it's really applicable here for Teams panels, unless you want some rooms that uh, cannot be booked. Let's say you've got some executive rooms or some customer briefing centers. You may want to reserve uh, those and only certain people can do ad hoc meetings. So you need that pin number for there. So possibly a good use for, for that device lock uh, to secure there. So yeah, choose your different time formats um, on here. For example, in the screensavers, uh, your office hours again, as we saw on the panel. So they are the things that you can configure. Now, obviously network and stuff, I'm running DHCP, much easier to con control and manage through that way. And then on the Teams panel, we can then drill down into the device and we can see here, um, you know, what version of Teams admin agent we're on, the Teams, the, the, the firmware. So this is the Crestron firmware, so I'm on the newer version. Now, this newer version that I'm running actually does support uh, proxy authentication. So if you need to have these devices go through a proxy, um, you need to be on the latest version, which is available from the Crestron website. So work with your reseller and they'll be able to get you that uh, login and download that app. Uh, again, I can uh, reboot the um, device from here if I need to. I can grab the logs from here as well. I can check its serial number, its um, IP address, etc. And obviously any history. Uh, so when I pushed config to it previously. So that is it. That is the Microsoft Teams panel and what you can do here in the uh, Teams Admin Center. Obviously, there's a little bit of uh, information, a little bit of settings you can do. Not a great deal. Um, but again, the main thing really for a lot of these is about that lo localization. So making sure that you've got the appropriate uh, look and feel for that time and that date, etc. So everyone's in the same format. And that is it. That's the Microsoft Teams panel out of box experience. So again, the key thing is the default password is admin. When you boot it up out of the box, it's admin admin. And then obviously, when you do a, um, a web password, so when you go into the IP address of that device for the first time, again, you need to set that password up.
So, thank you very much for watching this video on the Microsoft Teams panel from Crestron Electronics. Any questions, pop them in the uh, chat below and I'm happy to answer them. Thanks very much for watching. Ooh.